boy Ty, man, coming to you live this Sunday. And I know everybody waiting for it. They want that weekly analysis, man. So I'm going to start it off with a big train Man, go ahead and tap in, tap in, tap in. Hey, wherever you're from, make sure the first thing you do is smash that like button. All right, make sure the second thing you do is comment where you're from in the comment section. All right, we're going to get right into this thing. Also, comment uh, if you been had a profitable week last week or shit. <laughs> You didn't have a not so much profitable week. Let me know in the comment section, though. I'm loading up the songs. I'm loading up the, the chat. Everything's about to be lit, man. You guys know exactly how this thing goes. All right, I'm gonna start the I'm gonna start the uh, I'm gonna start the stream off with winning profit trying to stop it. I feel like, like I said, like the song is a self fulfilling uh, self fulfilling prophecy. So all you guys literally got to do is turn that song on and put it in your mind. And every time you're in profit, you're throwing your trailing stop. Like I don't, I don't know, it just works. You know what I'm saying? We'll talk about Bitcoin. We're going to start off talking about Bitcoin. We're going to go into gold. We're going to go into, you know, we're going to hit all the big money first and then we'll go down to the currencies. Stop loss, stop loss. Stop loss, stop loss. Trading with a stop loss. Stop loss, stop loss. Stop loss, stop loss. Trading with a stop loss. Hey. Also, comment your favorite pair in the chat too. Comment your favorite pair in the chat as well. I flow this that rich nigga shit Hopped out the ride this that rich nigga They just check the dollar talk And the monthly is a hit I don't usually trade a pair But you run it from the tip Ay, ay, pass 100 Get that moving, then we pay Leave nothing on the board Pending orders on the range I'm a dog, I'm a god I'm a god, don't act up It's a whole different level Where the game I pick up Pick a player so They can pick a plays in the run Institutional division But divided lump sum Institutional militias But we playing for the funds Intuition tell me selling Is the profit so it's done It's fluently It's traffic It's savage shit when I want It's a trade game nigga Let's get it, let's get it. Basquiat flow this that rich nigga shit. Hopped out some trades that AK on a low clip. Bitcoin still running. So a lot of people were asking me what I felt about Bitcoin. All right, I still feel like Bitcoin is bearish. It's still dropping. Okay, I'm like, what's this box right here? This is 788. 7886 i feel like hey bitcoin's gonna go ahead and drop to uh to 7886 or literally probably below that but it's running right now and it's taking off right now so if you guys are or have been trading bitcoin um then really you were already been selling okay somebody said kind of make a video on entries i got hella videos on entries you gotta i think you don't need another video on entries what i really think you need to do is shoot the fucking ball and enter more trades so you can get that confidence because that's what you're looking for you're looking for that confidence to to make that move so you're looking for you know a way to try to tie together that that uh that that confidence but i'm letting you know like the only way to to really have that confidence is if you take more shots all right So I know Bitcoin is going lower. I feel like it's gonna come to that 78, 8, 7, 8, 8 area right here. All right, retest off of this and then go ahead and continue its descent up. I know they had that Bitcoin halving shit too. So, I mean, people have been really uh, uh, suspected Bitcoin to even drop even lower than this 7,800 uh, 7, area right here. You know what I'm saying? And really just start moving somewhere around the 67, what is it, 6753 area. You know, if it keeps thundering through, we already seen one big drastic uh, drop. So yeah, somebody said, I'm still running up on Bitcoin. Hey, right, easy call, profits from this. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. All right, so check it, all right? I'm about to light up the, uh, the J in a minute too. So that's Bitcoin, like I said, I, feel, I still feel like the bears are going to be running. The bears are still in town, okay? I feel like, hey, we're coming to the 7,800 mark. And then if no break at the 7,800 mark, we will start seeing that retrace, retrace and then be able to go, you know, to the upside back to back to 10,000 as which it was at. So Bitcoin hit 10,000, it was like 10,000, uh, what was it, 10,005 or some shit, something like that smacked right off that shit and just start dropping so a lot of people are like oh man uh why or 10 000, 10 000, 10. you know a lot of people are like oh man why you know why is bitcoin still dropping but really it's because it already hit a high is high or it hit a high price so when the price hits a high price okay when price hits a high price what does price usually do when it hits like the highest high okay at high or higher highs you sell right okay boom so that was easy all right Let me go ahead and spark this joint right here. 
spark this J right here. Let me see, find a side I can pull from. All right, this look like a good side right here. Hey, chat should be active all border. Chat should be active all border. Y'all should be at this bitch lit as fuck. All right, so let's go to uh, S and P, right? So last time my target was three thousand. All right, this isn't that S and P. That's a different one. I'm gonna show you. You probably like. There's different S and P fives. There is like they got one with Oanda. All right, here it is, right here. So my initial target. I don't know if it's still drawn out on here. All right, but my t initial target is right here. Okay, that's this 31. Like I said, it's 3,000. We damn near at 3,000 right now, but the next big target for me will be 31, uh, 31, 12, okay? Which is right here. So I feel I still feel like the S&P will continue bullish, okay? Right now, what you're looking at, you're probably like, well, what's this line right here? Okay, well, these blue lines are literally just support and resistance. That's it. It's just s and R. okay? And here we are right now getting closer and closer back up into this 31 area all right so first we gotta have to break through 29.67 i feel like it's gonna smash it here what about when the market opens tyler easy call look so when the market opens up there's always these reversals right sometimes look sometimes the nature of this it may just gap up to fucking 29.70 and then continue its descent down for the retest but after every push up or every push down there's always a retest in the market so i need you guys to understand that when you're trading all right Somebody said, are you long on this? Yeah, we're, we're uh, definitely long on uh, uh, on these indexes. We've been long shit <laughs> for the past week. But like I said, there is times that you'll be able to sell this. Like in the indexes, you don't need a lot of like, well, you don't need a lot of movement to make a lot of money. All right. So that's 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 basically what I wanted, wanted to say. You don't need a lot of movement to make a lot of money. I also want you to know shit looking left here. All right, we're kind of already at some previous support. All right, which now is turning into resistance. So I'm already looking left and I can already see like, hey, the market just may be dropping. You're like, well, Ty, where do you see that? I'm about to show you right here. So where that arrow is at, that's where pre some previous support is at. And that's where we're currently hanging at right now. So if I was to draw a line from here to here, boom, I'm literally at old support or in a sense, new resistance. Okay, so I feel like, hey, if if we don't get the push up or that gap up, then all the market is going to do is retrace because it's been bullish two days, get a little pullback, pull back to about 2884. Okay, and then continue its rise all the way up to this 31. Uh, what, what did I say? 31. Here, let me put a ticket on it so I can get an actual price on that bitch. You did. And then we're going to use some Bermuda triangles and shit, too. I know they I know they be laughing at the Bermuda triangles, but I mean, bro, them boys be getting flamed out here. Niggas can't fuck with me. All right, so the price label for that, 31.22, all right? So, mind you, this is off the daily. Also, to support that, I want you to see that here is some old support right here. Okay, so all price did off at this point, which is bounce off here and now pushing up. Okay, here would be the first higher high, and then it'll start descending, and then boom. All right, so it should be pretty simple. Let's get it. Am I still gonna be on Twitter? Bro, hell yeah, I'm about to be on Twitter. We fucking it up on Twitter. I'm about to destroy all the Forex signal services. It's, it's like, if we're trading, all people gotta do is tune in. And why the fuck would they pay for your shit, right? <laughs> I think it was trash, just like I think them fucking courses is trash. Matter of fact, you got this one course seller who out here, bro, trying to get at everybody, bro. And when we looked up bro stats, like he's only been trading for full time for less than a full year. <laughs> and bro already selling courses so my nigga's not even less he's not even a full year profitable before selling forest courses just like all these other forest course gurus man that's 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 basically what it is um like i said a lot of these guys man they put on these suits they try to put up this front like they're professionals and do this shit but at the end of the day um maybe in the stock market that works to where you know the suit like the old dudes but this is forex like we can make money right off the phone you know what i'm saying so i think that's the beauty of it all right so I'm looking at S&P now, but I'm about to go ahead and switch, okay? So now we're going to that young NAS 100. All right, so let's get over to that NASDAQ. You still see price push it bullish? All right, so I'm about to go ahead and give you this right here. Let me see if I could pull up a better NAS 100 chart. Okay, <laughs> this works too. 
Easy call. So just like you see it on the S&P, price is still bullish as fuck, all right? So you're like, well, Ty, what do you feel? I feel like once market opens up, it may drop 100 points, come back to retest, 9, 1, 3, 9, and then take back off. The area that we're looking for price, this price to hit, it will be 97. But mind you, this is off the daily. So people are like, oh, what are you, where are you setting your targets? I set my targets off the daily. I go into smaller time frames, and I literally look for entries. Ty, what do you mean about entering the trade and then managing it? Bro, I enter on a smaller um, on a smaller time frame, and then it, none of the none of these forex traders that are out right now, bro. Like I said, these people have been flaming. Talk about they've been around for five and six years. I named all the people who are around in f five or six years ago. I've been around for pff, five or six years, and I've named everybody who was here. So a lot of people talk about these new guys. Go look at these new people. They they pop up and they're like, oh, I've been trading for ten years, and now you should buy my course. Well, you know the reason I give it out for free. Like I really make dough doing this shit. So I could give a goddamn about some. How much do they charge for the course? Forest courses like two hundred fifty, three hundred. Dollars, nigga. Fuck your little two hundred fifty. Wait, fuck your little two hundred dollars. That little, hey, your two hundred dollars. Okay, cool. Let me tell you. Put that shit in my gas tank and keep it moving, bro. That shit, that shit wouldn't even make me hard. You feel me? That little two hundred, uh, three hundred dollars. When I could go to US thirty and slap your stupid ass and literally stick my middle fingers up because I don't need you. So I trade forex for the simple fact that. I, I like being able to say, nah, I don't have to fucking sell that shit because I don't need you. I, it, it gives me a sense of empowerment to say, I don't need your money. So Tyler, how can you afford to give out free forex signals when people are charging monthly fees for this shit, when people are charging thousands? Nigga, if I'm eating off of this shit, like I'm eating off of this shit, that's how, bro. I don't, I'm not looking for your shit. Now, if some people hit me up like, oh, um, uh, can you do this, can you do that? Bro, I would charge the shit out of you for my time for the simple fact that I put all of this information out here for free. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. Like, man, a lot of people, like I said, man, you guys, you get duped into these course sellers, bro, and these people pop up, but they don't have no fucking track Track record, bro. I wear my track record. I tell you guys, man, you know what I'm saying? Get it cracking. You feel me? Like I said, I know a lot of these people, bro, a lot of these people who came in the game, bro, recently, who you see in the game recently, a lot of them really just watched the YouTube video, regurgitated the information out, went to fucking, uh, went to fucking baby pips, and that's why, that's why they're forced to sell Forex courses. They go look at their lifestyle before Forex courses. OK, and then look at it with the money that you're giving them. And you're like, oh, how they're getting new computer setups, new shoes, new shit, because you're fucking funding them. <laughs> but that's this the Nasdaq. Like I said, S&P, we're a bullish S&P. We're still bullish the Nasdaq. We're still going to go ahead and push up to this area. So I'll go ahead and put a tab at that area for us right there. Put a price label in there. You're like, what's that price level? Nine, seven, four, eight. Like I said, I still feel like price is bullish. I do want you to see we're going to draw up one of these Bermuda triangles. You know, we got. Uh, a lot of ski ball niggas who don't really know how to use the Bermuda Triangle. So let's go ahead and use this Bermuda. All right. So you're like, oh, how'd you see a drop? Well, I mean, the drop is kind of already there. All right. So it could come a little bit lower. It's at 92. Actually, the Nas could lose 300 points, you know, for a retest. I thought it was going to come down to 9.1, only 100. But I mean, with the harmonic in play, it's telling me it can come down to 9,000 or 8.977 and then continue its bull run. Just because, I mean, shit, just because... After every either bull run, there's a retracement or there's a pullback. After every bear run, there's a retracement and a pullback. So, I mean, that's what you're playing with when it really comes into, you know, getting a cracking like this. Now, you say, what's the benefit of using multiple brokers? Well, you got to think some brokers don't offer the instruments that you're looking for. So you have to find a broker for one that has the leverage you're looking for. You also have to find a broker for two that has the instruments that you're looking for. All right, you said, what pair is this? This is NASDAQ 100, all right? So that's the NASDAQ. So I'm, when I'm like, oh, I'm, mind you, all of this is off the daily. So I haven't went into intraday and all of that. All of this is just off the daily. We can go to intraday, all right? You still see market kind of holding up right here. So when the market opens, could it gap up and then drop? Yeah, it could. But like I said, I still feel like it's going to be a little bit bearish. So market opens, a little bit bearish, and then boom, a straight push to the upside. You know what I'm saying? He said, I get what you're saying, but no one here can say that if they're in a position to sell a course and make money from it, that they wouldn't. I'm in a position to do it. I don't need to, bro. I, I'm telling you that I feel like I can make more money in Forex than I can from you, bro. So that's why I, I don't really give a fuck about that shit. And then I want it to be different. While everybody's trying to sell education, you got to look at it like this. Why, why do people really are going so hard to sell you? Motherfucker video don't even start three minutes before they're like, yeah, go buy my course, nigga, because they need that dough. Niggas are struggling. People got bills, bro, and you're going to pay them. But me, I get in this market and make my bill money, bro. Fuck that bullshit. 
we go get the music cracker. We just did SCP-5, we did Bitcoin, we did, uh, let's go and do US-30 now. Like I said, I'm knocking out the big shit first. So with us coming into this US-30, all right, let's get on that US-30. I don't know why it's not trying to click that shit. There it is. All right, so these were just areas that we were buying at. So that's what you probably like. Oh man, what are those areas right there? These were just areas that I was able to take buys at. All right. So let me go ahead and pull up a uh, different chart because this is the wrong broker. Is this one right here? There we go. There we go. So that's my markup on um, US 30. So we've been buying literally all last week. We were buying all in this area the uh, week before. We got sales and buys in, all right? But ultimately, we're still bullish. Price is at 24.14 uh, right now, okay? So like I said, when the market opens up, you know, 24.15 is shit is pushing right now. So <laughs> I feel like when market opened up, I feel like it was gonna come down and get this little quick retest at 20, 24.302. Okay, or we may just get the full straight bull run all the way to this 2500 or 24912 area. Mind you, all right, I want to show you something too. Mind you, we're at the bottom of this channel. All right, now I know everybody's a price action expert because they've learned from my YouTube videos. And that was the crazy thing too, because look, like, so when I was, when I was, because I used to be a forest course seller when I first came in the game and really became profitable like five years ago, I was on the same wave of everybody else. But what made me different, it was like, I felt like, nigga, fuck that group and fuck those people because I will literally go make the same bread while everybody in here complaining and bitching and whining. I will make your fucking money, make your little rent in the market, bro. Tell you, fuck you and have a nice day. So that's what gave me the advantage and really made me be over all of that, bro. I was just over that. You feel me? I'm about to play that. I'm about to play that US 30 right now, though. All right. So we're going to we're marking up US 30 while listening to US 30. I still feel we're bullish. I know we're at the bottom of this support right now. So inside of a channel. All right. Boom. We're at the bottom of this little support kind of just banking off. So we're in this area. So when the market opens up, we get our pullback and then just the bull run all next week. A lot of people, a lot of people, um, speculate that the market is recovering very uh, fast. The economy just opened back up. So you're like, what economy, Ty? What are you talking about, bro? So um, I know COVID-19 has really knocked out a lot of fucking businesses, all right? Like hotels kind of, they didn't go out of business, but they've been losing money back to back to back. Week after week after week after week after week, okay? So now after the market has lost all those gains, okay? Now, literally, we're just at the correction. So when people, are, people don't understand that, hey, if you looked at the market, maybe like before this COVID-19 thing, you would have seen the fucking drop coming. A lot of investors seen the drop coming. Actually, people speculated the drop for so long, but they didn't just have, but what they didn't know is when it, was when it would come. And then boom, COVID-19 strikes, whole fucking market falls, but it was something everybody knew. All right, it was something everybody knew. All right, so then after that happens, what happens next? All right, market recovery, or if the market was at a higher high, think about this, the market's at a higher high, drops to a higher low, what happens at a higher low? You buy. So that's why we've really been fucking buying that shit going, going off, you feel me? We about to move this shit up. So it's like, like I said, that just, so I don't, fuck just give you a signal. I'm letting you know why I'm buying. I'm letting you know that we're at a strong support. I'll let you know that price has not broken through. Okay, I'm letting you know that we're still pushing up. I'm also letting you know that, hey, since we have been bullish and we, see Friday, all right, Friday, we got a late push, man. Friday, we got a late push. And what I mean is like, I'm, um, shit, if you, if you were trading US 30, you would have seen that at first, that shit was like, it kind of, price just held in this little area right here for basically all day, all right? So then on the final hour before the market closed, that's when we got that little 100 point push up. You know what I'm saying? So price was just holding right there. I'm like, fuck, like when that shit gonna move and it didn't really bust until the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? So everybody had to just wait until the end of the day and shit like, ah, fuck, like it didn't really bust until the end. You know, let me get this shit. I gotta do this for, uh, for Instagram though. You know, I'll be uh, shouting out the Instagram and shit. So we're gonna get it cracking. Yo, what's the deal? What's the deal, man? Hey, tune in. We're going fucking up right now on the YouTube. Make sure you guys click that link in my bio. Let's get this bread. Get it! Yo, what's the I got to do that for the IG, and then I got to do the shit letting people know I'm uh I'm live on, Inst I mean, not on Instagram, uh, uh, live 
on YouTube. We need a thousand viewers, bro. Hey, smack that like button. Smack that like button. It was good. Hey, where Trey Gang at? In the comment section, man. Where the real fucking Trey Gang at? Start commenting TG or comment the whole Trey Gang or even be like Trey Gang. That'd be lit too. Like I said, I'm about to play uh, that US 30 while we mark up this young US 30. We're going to get over to all those other charts too. I got you. Run that shit, run that shit. Run that shit. Run that shit, run that shit. Run that shit up, Robbie. Run that shit up. Flip that shit, run that shit back. Oh, yeah. Try again, then I run up the pack. Ooh. Mask up, then we load up the gap. Ooh. Mask up. Ooh. Flip that shit, run that shit back. Ooh. Try again, then we run up the pack. Ooh. Mask up, then I load up the gas. Mask up, while we make them just clap. Big dog, rich dog, been a rich dog since a kid dog. Even when I was broke, I couldn't fall. Stay ten toes to my ground, I bet that ten fold. Move a ten to two thousand in the morning, all gold. If I'm greedy, keep US thirty to my count, get locked, y'all. Easy money and I'm gone, toss the phone, need a zone. Big booty freak when I suck because I'm free. Big booty freak when I suck because I'm him. Trade niggas, banks on taps like museums. Flip your per diem and triple up the profit, serve trades like Tim's. Black Tim's, that's put on the gas in his yacht from Long Beach. Drove everything down the block from Rock. To Lambos, to Rose, to Drop Tops We don't see them around the city What they say today around Right, ayy, I'm in the trade right now What's the hype, ayy? Shot caller shit so you know it's trade or die They say the trade game But are you really gon' ride? Got it poppin' in the market We the trade or die Tryin' niggas see the lifestyle But they ain't really about that life Hey, wake up every morning Check the trade and hit the lights Take the same trade on five different brokers Get sniped, got the city on Smash Fork Shit hitting nice You know the name and the vibe Tie you now, I'm that guy Oh yeah, oh yeah Flip that shit, run that shit back Trade again, then I run up the pack Mask up, then we load up the gats, mask up, Ooh. flip that shit, run that shit back, try to get, then we run up the pack, mask up, then I load up the gats, mask up, while we make them just clap, we been big pay from the gig, go, this that Trey gang, same thing, except we in the market with them things, we in Trey gang, except we in the market, no games playing, same thing, money moving close to the stain, it's the lane chains, Perky popping wild bubbling all in your mainframe, you think it's free, this ain't no sweepstakes, bitch, Nas 100, get this me stakes, bitch, during 30 smack, but I don't fuck, she need a rent pay, pound versus the dollar, pound and pussy off the bitch pay, money off the phone, but we don't keep it more than three days, keep the money hot, wear a mask and move the freeway, in a free world, but we ain't free yet, East Bay, catalog your life and choose a pair from the heat wave, document the trades and burn the paper, no leeway, this that, drop the Rory top on the speedway, and middle figures to my oppositions, that's that me way, the talking, get the popping out your neck, fuck you, better pay me my respect, people get the chop and leave a block on your lap, got some runners, birthday runners, get the check, Ay, people get the talk and get the popping out your neck, fuck you, better pay Hey, in the comment section, put the middle figure emoji up right now. In the comment section, put the middle figure emoji up right now. Hey, flip that shit, run that shit back. Oh, yeah. Try again, then I run up the pack. Ooh. Mask up, then we load up the gats. Ooh. Mask up. Ooh. Flip that shit, run that shit back. Try again, then we run up the pack. Ooh. Mask up, then I load up the gats. Mask up, while we make him just clap. Run that shit up, Robbie. Run that shit up, Robbie. Run that shit up, Robbie. Easy call. So I was just looking at oil. I was marking shit up on oil. I was looking long term on oil. First, long term, I see oil smacking $30. Boom. After it smacks $30, I want you to also know that this looks like it's forming a morning star. If you don't know what a morning star is, then let me go ahead and show you. I play Fortnite so much, I literally typed, it, typed in Morning Star Fortnite. <laughs> oh shit, look at that shit, wow. Do you feel me? But let me show you what a Morning Star is, all right? So, here's a Morning Star. So if you don't want to know what a Morning Star is, here's a Morning Star, all right? Here's another way to look at a Morning Star, okay? So you're like, yo man, what's the Morning Star, Ty? So there's a morning star right here again. That's an evening star. All right. So, I mean, literally, you, you could trade Bitcoin every day. Okay. Called that big ass Bitcoin drop yesterday. I didn't know it was going to go get off like that. To be honest, a lot of people be like, oh, I already knew it was going to go all the way down to the bottom, bro. Like, bro, it blew past where I thought it was about to go. So, you feel me? That's, that's really what, uh, what made it crack. Right there. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Hey, if you're out here right now, what I need you to do is make sure you go to Spotify. All right, go to Spotify, type in my name, Ty Ullionaire, all right? Add me to your playlist. So people are like, oh, Ty, would you give us more free signals? Would you give us more free signals? Now check this out. I don't give a fuck, like I told you, I don't, uh, these people really be on this Forex shit, bro, because like, 
I don't know what the fuck they be on. They be trying to do all type of extra nut shit. I really trade Forex, bro, and I know people are talking about their mentors, but my mentor is really good off in this game, bro. So it's what it's what made me become who I am. You know what I'm saying? Just shit by the people that I study and I'm around, bro. Like it's taking me to new heights. So um, what you need to do is literally I, I don't mind doing posting analysis on Twitter or wherever the fuck you guys want me to post. I don't care. But because I mean, like I said, yeah, people charge for that. OK, let them charge for that shit. Y'all want this shit for real, for real, bro, you know, to come to the source. All right. So how you get it cracking? You feel me for real, for real. And you want me to keep going because I have seen my music streams going all the way up. So the only thing I could do is, I mean, clap for you, clap for yourself, you know, clap for yourself. You guys have really been putting up, man. You really been putting on. So I do nothing but appreciate you guys. You feel me? So people are asking me what time for frame we're on so deleting everything off of here all right this looks like a morning star is about to form okay if a morning star does form then the next candlestick would continue green or continue bullish okay all right so then once we go to the weekly all right here we are at the week all right and i want you to see that price is getting close to like some resistance right here all right that's at this 29 dollar area okay so opening up like i said long term i still feel like oil is going to be bullish okay i know it dropped but i know market is recovering okay so the daily i like this pattern usually this pattern is just like boom boom okay and that's what usually that means but i feel like when oil opens up just like with anything it's going we're going to get a little pullback we might get a little bit of retrace okay we get our little retrace and then we go ahead and you know continue up and then you like, how do you know oil is going up? Because usually when oil is going up, USD CAD is going down. So if you guys was like USD uh, Swiss franc, if you traded that with me last week, then you would have got that crazy ass drop. You know what I'm saying? And you already know cat follow. OK, so look, if oil goes up, USD CAD usually comes down. Oh, yo, hey, we about to hit that thousand. Let's go. Fuck you talking about. Tell him run that shit up, man. Hey, smash that like button. Smash that fucking like button. Hey, we about to hit that thou. I'm gonna be a, I'm not even gonna cap. Like, all right, so on Facebook, I've probably smacked the thou a thousand times. Okay, but that's Facebook. Um, that's not fucking YouTube, but on YouTube, bro, to get a thousand live, bro, like that's lit, bro. We we doing our thing, man. That really shows me that Trey Gang is really growing, bro. It, like Trey Gang is really fucking growing. No cap. Okay. So I'm like, man, shit, man. We, I can't wait for you guys to, to, to really see what I have planned for Trade Gang. Also, I want to start putting out more merch. It's just I'm so busy. Usually I could design shit. I could do everything that I need to do. But I'm willing to either pay somebody or offer mentorship to, to some creative to come over and come work with me, design some merch, man, and let's uh, help get all this Trade Gang merch out for, for, uh, for, you know, the, for the gang, man. It's a lot of us here. Um, so really, that's what I'm saying. I fuck with you guys, you know, really, really big. I fuck with you guys big. We really built the community over here of Ford exchange traders, gamers, entrepreneurs, go-getters, you know what I'm saying? So that's really why I fuck with you guys hard body. You feel me? Hey man, trigger! Man, let that shit off in the comment section. You know what's up? You feel me? So moving along, moving along, now let's get to some currency. So I know, like I said, I was gonna knock out all the big shit first. What on the beat? Hey, I'm about to get some of your beats too, bro. I've been on your page listening to some new shit, man. Matter of fact, since Wood is here, I'm about to play that Trader Die. So the story about this, I found the beat on Bro Page, right? And I was already kind of writing to it and listening to it. And I'm jamming to it and I already had something wrote, bro, right? And um, and then I hit Bro up, like, I don't know if I asked him like, hey, let me buy a beat or something like that. I don't, I don't know what I asked him or how that went, but next thing you know bro kind of looked out and was like man anything on my uh on my page man um he, he's like fuck with me you know so i'm like okay and while I'm, while I'm telling you guys this story i'm about to um go ahead and load up uh euro usd okay and then i'll load up um great british pound so let's go to the pound pound versus the dollar all right But make sure, and if you do want to design a merch, either design some uh, mock-up merch and send it to me on Twitter or hit me up on uh, Twitter or Instagram. So, okay, my Twitter is at Tylionaire with an underscore. My Instagram is at Championship Balling. All right. So I'm about to play that trader die right now while we mark up uh, Great British Pound. Okay. Trade a nigga from the streets. <laughs> if you know about it, better trade it to speed. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna let the song play, but I will tell you, 
all right you see how price banked off this support so people are like oh man so we actually caught this all right so if you go to my twitter like i said i put look i'm so transparent i put i put the whole i put a lot of shit on twitter so y'all just gotta go to the twitter man if you're not tapped into the twitter um <laughs> shit I don't know what the fuck you on, but definitely go to my Twitter, man. I post a lot on Twitter. Um, really, Tifu and Ninja inspired me to really get on Twitter, and then Keemstar too. I seen how they was really moving and, and getting cracking, so I was just like, man, shit, bro. If if that's because like you gotta you gotta think these are some big ass YouTubers, especially Tifu in the gaming community. You know what I'm saying? So I seen how bro was getting off. I'm like, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. I'm about to be on my Twitter game, baby. About to be on my Twitter game. You know what I'm saying? Twitter and vlogging. But check it. So I feel like the pound versus the dollar is still going to be bullish next week. Um, just like I feel like the, the the indexes will be bullish next week. Usually the currencies, these markets follow the indexes. So um, if you go look at this channel, all right, this is on the daily. But I want you to go look at last week's markup or even go look up go or even go look at any of the markups that we've been doing on Forex and Fortnite. Uh, shit. I got a surprise guest coming on Forex and Fortnite next week. He's a trader in the community. All right. A lot of you guys actually know him. Um, so, like I said, uh, you know, usually I don't do no collabs, but bro hit me up like, yo, bro, let's collab, man. I play Fortnite, too. I'm, I'm trying to fuck with y'all. Like, like, say no much. You feel me? So, bro, going to come fuck with Trey Gang next week. It's going to be uh, it's going to be pretty lit. And KSI is a big YouTuber. Burby going hard on on uh, on Twitter as well. You know what I'm saying? A lot of shit really crack on Twitter. So right now um, you're like, yo, what's this zone right here? So this zone, like I said, go back a few lives, go back a few feeds. You literally when you come on here. Sometimes I don't even have to mark this shit up because it's already marked up from previous days, from previous weeks. Usually if you draw a strong support and resistance or strong trend lines or something like that and you have your markup and it's solid, I need you to know, man, that motherfucker will literally just play out through the entire structure. You just have to be patient. You got to trust your analysis. You got to trust your setup. We need 50 more people, man. Hey, how they do it in MLM? They said... uh they said go tell a friend to tell a friend so i need y'all right now to share my feed man tell a friend to tell a friend let's get this thousand you feel me let's crack that thousand and then we hit a goal together that'll be today we actually hit a goal we'd be like yo we we smacked a thousand on live what's good like but we really need to be going crazy on the forex and fortnite streams too all right but like i said man continuing so i still feel like the pound versus the dollar is going to continue bullish okay but then also i want you to see something too so let's just remove everything off the charts and let's just focus on this part of the structure right here okay so what does that actually look like? I know it's not a complete, I mean, but I'm not going to tell you, but doesn't that look similar to this? I'm just saying, doesn't it look similar to this? So, so in the case, if, if that is true and we are at the bottom of support, right? Because I, I feel like we're at the bottom of support right now. He said, I can't find any signals on Twitter. Bro, we're, what do you mean, bro? I'm literally fucking, uh, I'm literally doing this shit. We getting it cracking right here. This this is what we on. We're looking at the market. Just like if, what's that one dude, uh, um, money, um, Mad Money on, on CNN Money or whatever, how bro be on there? You feel me? You see a doji, and it is a doji, but look at the indexes. They'll tell you where the market is going. You feel me? And yeah, you do see a doji, but then also you see support as well. Mind you, I didn't fuck with these charts, so that's why it looked like it broke through to the downside and had that false break, which it did. It did have a false break, you feel me, to the downside. And then literally at the bottom, bank right off, shoots right to the top like a fucking rocket, and we was out. Baby? Baby? <laughs> let's get it. Boy, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. He said the indexes are showing heavy bull action. Yo, we gonna hit that thousand, baby. We gonna hit that thousand. Let's go! Let's go! Hell yeah. Hey, since we hit that thousand, man, make sure, make sure, make sure you guys go ahead, smash that like button. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. Also, like I said, I don't mind doing this shit for you guys because to me, you feel me? Shit. It's nothing, man. I don't, I don't really mind. I don't really care. You feel me? But all I ask, though, all I ask is if you can fucking go to my Spotify or Apple Music. Oh, shit. We just hit a thousand. One thousand sixteen. Bro, this shit crazy. If you could go to my Spotify or my, or my Apple Music, you feel me? Just I, I'm not even asking you to buy a song. I'm saying stream that shit, and I got you. You feel me? We could do this shit all the time. That's what I want to return for, for doing all of this. So ultimately, I feel like GU is going to play this structure out, all right, and then end up somewhere around 
what 26 right now price is at 24 so yeah it can move to 126 that's easy that's what <laughs> that's two dollars and people are like what's two dollars bro like a two dollar move bro like you got to think this is the currency exchange so 120 yeah price right now is 124 bro price could be 126 get to 126 if it doesn't break come back down to 123 124 again you know what i'm saying i'm gonna show you something too so i want you to look left all right so before we even get i mean not look left look right all right so look on this area over here where you see the mouse kind of bouncing up and down i'm I'm gonna let you see how that motherfucker uh, just bounces up and down between the uh, bounces up and down between the channel, bro. Like, I, like I said, I marked this shit up Sunday, and I'm not gonna mark it up. Literally, um, <laughs> I'm literally not gonna mark this shit up for the rest of the week. Like, what it is is what you see, and that's just what it is. So when we get on Forex and Fortnite tomorrow, then these charts will be the same. I'm not remarking nothing. It's just that's what it is. Let's get it. All right, so boom. So look right. So I want you to see how it goes into this channel and just plays out. Tell the market, suck my dick, nigga. What's the next point in this phase? We going up. We going up! Trey gang shit, what's good? You going crazy with the music though. I'm about to uh, switch to Euro USD right now. I'm about to let that trader die play. Once again, this is produced by Wood on the Beat. So shout out uh, Wood on the Beat, bro. You feel me? Much love, man, for this record, bro. Yeah. Bet I wake up in the morning, check my trades and toss my phone. Every day is trader die, so keep the numbers out the road. Keep the linen in the sheets up in the yard, I hang it close. Every time the cameras flush, that's another million sold. Bet I wake up in the morning, check my trades and toss my phone. Every day is trader die, so keep the numbers out the road. Keep the linen in the sheets up in the yard, I hang it close. Every time the cameras flush, that's another million sold. I this the daily time frame. Trader die and that's a lie. I, I, uh. I just trade it and forget it. Always say a prayer, never leave without the biscuit. Stay inside the market, double up and then I split it. Thinking that they know my next move, yeah, forget it. Uh. And you know what you know, and you don't what you don't, yeah, I. Uh. So we buy it off the bottom, it's supported, it been support. Load up 25 knots, drop the stop, then run it up. Every time I see your camera trunk, the West they know what's up. This that 50 bank run with the budget and your trust. Keep the trade and leverage thick, that's so the equity can flow. And it's more than living life than what you see, that's from the gold. Get my pips and lead a market, double back if I won't mow. After I hit all my points, I never leave an open door. Bet I wake up in the morning, check my trades and toss my phone. Every day is trade or die, so keep the numbers. So once again, that's Trader Die by me, produced by Widow the Beat. Shout out to Widow the Beat. You feel me? I told you guys a story of how we leaked bad at uh that's what it is. You feel me? So Euro USD. So I already know, man, when I'm buying GBP USD, I'm buying Euro USD. I'm buying EJ, okay? So I'm currently bullish EJ. I have trades in on EJ. I have trailing stops in. Like I said, reframe back to the Twitter. Reframe back to the uh, to the Twitter. You feel me? Everything, like I said, I, everything is on Twitter. All right, Ty, what's your Twitter, man? Like, boom, that's my Twitter. Also, right now, if you're on stream, go to fucking, um, go to Spotify right now. Like, literally, go on your phone. You can do this right now. We can all do it together. Boom, go to your phone. All right, go to Spotify. You can be like, well, if you don't have a Spotify, go to Apple Music. If you don't have Apple Music, go run my shit up on YouTube. You feel me? Type in Tyler Yanir. So T Y L L I O. And then my name should pop up and you start seeing all my songs. You just click on my artist name. All right, and then help me get my monthly listeners up. All right, you're welcome. Let's get it. So, like I said, I'm still bullish. I have trades in on EJ. So, I will be probably looking for buying opportunities in EU too, just because EJ and EU follow each other. AU, I still have bulls. Uh, bulls I said bulls. <laughs> I still have buys in as well. You know what I'm saying? And then uh, let's get it. He said, What is EJ? That's uh, Euro JPY. All right. So, I got y'all though. I got y'all. I got y'all. You said, do I use stop losses? I actually got a song called Win is, Winning Profit Trail and Stop It. I think I started the stream off with, with that joint. You feel me? He said, where can we get some type of education from you? Bro, are you not on the stream? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so you're probably like, okay, Ty, what do, you, what do you see here? Why do you have that downtrend? Now, I want you to see something. I am on the daily chart. So I drew this up and I have not touched it since 
whenever the fuck I drew this up. All right, so this is me off the daily right now. So going to intraday or is a little bit smaller, you're gonna see a little, you're gonna see the market a little bit differently. All right, so price has already smacked resistance once. Yes, it has. All right, here it is back at support again. Okay, all this doji is telling me is that what price did was push up initially and then at the end of the day, you know, come back down. So I feel like, hey, what's the market gonna do? Right now we're at a strong level of possible support, meaning that if we got that push up, once you get a retest, that old retest, that old resistance becomes new support. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like Euro USD is gonna be bullish next week, just like the indexes will be bullish next week, just like fucking uh what is that? I know it's a do I know it's showing a doji right now, but I'm just thinking long term just because like I said, I'm thinking long term. I'm thinking in terms of I know I'm buying GU. I know I got fucking trades in EJ. We know we buying GU and I know I'm buying the indexes. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? That's that's why I already feel how I feel. You know what I mean? I know they're going to be trying to sell these signals in a signal group next week, but fuck them signal groups. We on Twitter with it. You feel me? You on Twitter with it right here, right now. We on face. We on what is this? YouTube? We on YouTube with this shit. You know what I'm saying? So, let's get it. You said I'm cap, please, nigga. I got messages, though. I got messages on my Instagram, though. We did exchange words, Dylan. So, like I said, bro, it's the reason why bro shut the fuck up. He said, yo, since I started taking this serious in February, I waited. No job for me. My next challenge is he didn't put a number. Bro about to run that shit all the way up. Lorenzo, actually, hey, let me tell you, bro. So remember, I don't know if I have bro on my on my Instagram or my Facebook or on YouTube or whatever, but I remember Lorenzo uh, hopping on, bro, and really, shit, bro was on the, on the shit with his son. I remember he was he was uh, trading with his son. He had brought his son on and was like, yo, talk to Ty real quick. And I remember talking to bro, uh, bro and his son, man. And bro, man, shit, man. I was like, man, bro, that, that's love, bro. And then bro, you feel me? You're like, bro, I'm black, but bro brown. So it's like really like, nigga, the blacks and the browns, like we moving like, nigga, that, that see, y'all not seeing what's going on. That's what I'm saying. It's a whole lot. It's a whole lot going on. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm I'm, I'm happy to get, get bread with my brown brothers. You know what I'm saying? And, like, hey, bro, not like business. Business Brown, like that's Lorenzo, nigga. <laughs> you feel me? So, 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 yeah, hell uh, yeah. Okay, so now I said gold, right? So we did EU, we did GU. All right, so let's get the gold. Let's get the gold. Damn, we got a fucking eleven. Oh, he said that J uh, Japan work markup. Should I mark that shit up and drop that on the uh, on the Twitter though? I ain't even gonna cap, nigga. We going to fuck up, bro. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy. Yo, I ain't even gonna cap. It is crazy on YouTube right now. You feel me? Hey, y'all really need to tap in. It's the fucking movement. If you're not, if you're not here, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing. I ain't even gonna cap. It is. Yeah, it's lit as fuck. We up, we up right now. Let's get it. And really, I'm just living my life. People ask me why I get up and do this, bro. I can, I can't, I can't stream live while I get up and fucking uh, look at some fucking charts and educationally speculate. You know what I'm saying? Like, what do you mean? I'm just looking at this shit. I, it, just looking at it like, okay, this is what I feel. All right. So these are some old marks. Keep the old mark up. up. All right. So ultimately, I said gold was going to get to the 1777. All right. So that's gold's ultimate goal. All right. So as for where gold is at right now, all right, let's see. It's looking like it's at some pressure. It don't got no strong pressure. I feel like the strong pressure is 714. That's where that strong pressure really starts smacking. Okay. We on the monthly, though. Mind you, I'm on the monthly. So you're like, yo, what are you looking at, Ty? This is the monthly, bro. It's the monthly. All right. And y'all going to play more music. I'm going to play more music. But like I said, if y'all want to listen to the music, make sure you go to Apple Music. Make sure you go to Spotify. Make sure you go to... I mean, wherever the fuck uh, y'all go, what's the most profitable time frame? I don't necessarily think... Um, shit. There's a most profitable time frame. I think your your, your profit is gonna be in literally just having patience and letting your analysis play out. You know, and that's that's hard for a lot of people. With no cap, like like you know what I'm saying. Like a lot of people be like, oh man, I they cut your trade. You cut your trade too early because you're not because you're looking at the market. So I mean, the higher the time frame, the more you don't have to you know watch your break. Because at the end of the day, you gotta think. This is like investing. 
I said like investing. This is investing. You know what I'm saying? So um, when investing, it's, this is a patient game. This is a patient game. You know what I'm saying? This is a, this is a patient game. But hey, check this out. What what uh, title your nerd song is your favorite? I see people commenting songs right now, but what title your nerd song is your favorite? Go ahead and comment that right now in the comment section. Yo, we might do 2,000 uh, people, bro. This shit going up, bro. All right, so that's the ultimate projection of gold. Let's get to the daily. Okay, boom, daily. Let's see what we owe. Boom. Boom. All right, it's just gonna have to play out. So gold just gonna bounce between the channel. First point, 1682. Bang. Okay, next. Come back up to 1712. Come back to 1689. Come back to 1718. All right, what is that? I mean, 17, uh, 1708. You feel me? So it literally just play itself out within the channel. Okay, what do you think Go's gonna do? Literally do this until it breaks out of this shit, because it's really just been inside the channel the whole time. You feel me? You like what's this? I still feel like it's going north, but I'm gonna show you something. So check this out. All right, all right. We talk about triangles now. <laughs> Bermuda Triangle. Yeah, so this is a ascending triangle, right? I'm gonna show you some shit real quick. I'll show you some shit real quick. All right, so this is a ascending triangle. That's usually what you're looking at. That's usually what price does before it breaks out. All right, like I said, I feel like gold is gonna, you know, go to the upside. All right, why do I feel like gold is going to the upside? All right. Just because that's what I see. And then long term, I know what I'm looking at on the month at 1777. You feel me? So let's get it. Let's get it. Easy money. You feel me? Yeah, this is the daily. So yeah, we will get a lot of fluctuations between 1718 and 1688. That's the range goal is going to be trading in. Let's see the hour we're looking at. I feel like, shit, we bleeding red right now. So a goal may open up, pull back a little, maybe pull back to like 1705, 17 some go up for a little bit and just continue dropping right the fuck down into this uh what is this area right here 1685 so from 1702 to 1685 if it doesn't break through 1685 like it looked like it been holding this structure pretty good pretty good you know what i'm saying so it been holding the structure pretty good so i mean if it doesn't break at the end of the day what's go gonna do shit shoot right the fuck back up until it just breaks out of this little ascending triangle and then we're gonna go ahead and get to that big target to the upside i feel like gold is really gonna get uh cracking you know what i'm saying so let's get it And uh, let me see what other pairs we gonna look at. We gonna look at the Australian. All right. I know I still have fucking buys in holding the shit out of these joints. You feel me? I don't remember when I had this markup in. I can delete that though. Delete this, go to the four hour. I know price is just sitting right here right now. So you got a little range that we in. So when market opens up, we may get a little push to the downside, but I'm not really chipping about that because I already know ultimately I'm about to fucking play this channel out how it play out. So once again, let's look at how these channels play out. Let's, <laughs> motherfuck. All right, once it gets in. All right, do you see that? Bing. How do you trade it? Nigga, easy, bro. Bing. So, let me put this down a little bit. Bing. So, here we are at the bottom. So, we're at the bottom. So, the next thing for it to do is just get his ass right on up to the top again. This fucking game. Anyway, uh, AU to 65. Easy shit. You did. He said, I'm an 11, 11 slash zero on trades. Hey, run it up, bro. Run it up, run it up, run it up. But before we get that breakout, price is just going to be bumping in this little range right here between, what is this? 
65,730 and 65,324. But it's the four hour. Okay, so long term, I could probably even get a longer target than that. This like a target one. On the daily, I could probably see something even crazier. 66, 65,7 and 66,322. That's cool. And then if you erase all this, pure price action, we just getting that nice little push, baby. All right, we already got that higher low. Price is here looking like it's about to break. If we do get a break to the upside, for sure, we coming to that 66, that's easy. He said, is this a double bottom? Shit. Bitch, what it look like? <laughs> <laughs> Easy call. All right, so let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right. So he said, mink coat. I got you. I'm going to put mink coat on right now. Let's run it, though. And I mean coat. And I mean coat. And I mean coat. Cause you go hard. And I mean coat. Trading and I mean coat. And Versace Rose. Young get out of control. Shoot my shot. Knock him down like a free throw. Shoot my shot. Knock him down like his dominoes. And I mean coat. Trading and I mean coat. And Versace Rose. Young get out of control. Shoot my shot. Knock him down like a free throw. Shoot my shot. Knock him down like his dominoes. Hey, 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 hey. All right, so I want you to see here, like, I don't know if I marked this up on the Fortnite stream or if I marked this up last week or whenever the fuck, but I haven't fucked with it, bro. So literally, I just be leaving this shit. <laughs> you feel me? Like, I just leave it. Like, once I mark up and get my chart, like, bro, I'm not messing with my charts, bro. Like, we're literally playing Fortnite. Uh, Valorant, that's the new shit, you know what I'm saying? So make sure you turn them on the uh, notifications. Like I said, I got a special guest coming on uh, next week on the uh on the uh what is that the forks and Fortnite that's gonna be hella lit you know what i'm saying um i know we got trade gang heating up man we've been back to back dubbing we're about to start doing rank squads because i mean it really is all about rank too you feel me so it's like at the end of the day that's what we on so i'm about to uh start having people doing rank squads and uh we about to really get it cracking you know what i'm saying so but us uh usd cad if i re to remove this like like i said i haven't fucked with this since whenever the fuck i marked it up y'all gotta go check and see when i marked this up because i don't remember um uh, but let me remove this i mean it's still gonna play out its structure okay will it get down to 38 850 of course that's like first target you feel me so that's like boom first target light that's light though you feel me will it get down to 137 big possibility you know what I'm saying? That's the bottom of the channel. So it's just going to trade itself out. Or if, if not, should it pause here and try to come up, get us, a, get us a retest at 140 and then drop back down to where it was initially supposed to go again. But that's why you literally got to trade what you see. You know what I'm saying? He said that Valorant be popping. Hey, I, I'm going to tell you the truth. Look, for me, I, shit, I fucking love Valorant because it's the game that challenges me. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, boy don't really play uh, mouse and keyboard, but Valorant really forced me to play mouse and keyboard. So sometimes, like, just because of Valorant helping me get my mouse and keyboard skill set up, like, I could go to Fortnite and go mouse and keyboard. And people ask me, oh, will you eventually do uh, mouse and keyboard? And literally, just because I'm on PC, yes like i like i do get off on a controller mind you but i like i want to be versatile too so as like a streamer or a gamer like okay let's say i don't have a controller and i have to use a different set of tools so it's like adding another set of tools to my toolkit you know what i mean somebody said you greedy on a lot hey sometimes that's what that's that greed is what gets you you know what i'm saying but that probably gets you cracking let's get it make sure you guys go follow me on, on instagram right now matter of fact let me see who's really active go spam my insta Make sure you spam my Insta with likes and comments and all of that. You feel me? Um, let's get it. Y'all on that uh, my Twitter right here. Okay. Let's get it. He said, what chat is this? Trey Gang chat, bro. Trey Gang going up, bro. That's, that shit going up, bro. Hey, nigga. When you Google the Trey Gang, all the, all the markers pop up. Everybody in the chat uh, pop up, bro. It's, it's, it's really getting cracking. You know what I'm saying? So, yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, and then in the comment section as well, because I, I mean, you guys already know, I usually hop on here for an hour every Sunday, man, do my thing and hop off this bitch, you know what I'm saying? And I give you guys an hour of my time, man, and uh, you know, really, let's, let's do it like that. But you know, for me, really just doing that, um, shit. Um, let's move on, let's go to GJ. Wait. 
Well, let's go to EJ since I'm in there. I'm going to just go ahead and tell you my analysis on that. All right, so this was already on here. This is the markup that I had. All right, so I said it's bullish on the daily, which it was bullish on the daily. I don't know when I sent this out. I think I sent this out on Twitter or some shit. I said price may use the support. You feel me? And this was when support was like down here. This is a target right here. So don't be like, oh man, this is this isn't. I'm not saying the top is support. I'm really saying that hey, this is a target right here. And I was literally telling people on Twitter, like I said, you can go back. You feel me? And get it cracking like that. And you can see. And um, I'm like, price is currently bullish, and we'll push until we hit 116, 631. And that's about this area right here, like 116, 631. That's why I have this smacking at. 116 631 so you're probably like oh why is this up there because it's at the price point that i feel like price is gonna go ahead and continue to and yes ultimately i know the trend is down just like on euro usd when you looked at it the ultimate trend was down but it's where you're at in that downtrend you know what i'm saying he said show me some elliot way bro i would never confuse myself with that shit bro you go confuse yourself that's why you're in the chat bro <laughs> you feel me Fuck out of here i'm not confusing myself bro i understand the market with i can clear all this off my shit close my eyes you just got to tell me a price and i'll tell you where that shit gonna go black excellence baby let's get it though i know we are looking at some resistance right now on the four Okay, so we may get a little bit. We already got one pullback already. That's this candlestick right here that's next to it. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. So we already got the first pullback right here. Boom. Got the first drop. Bang. And it kind of already came out retest. So market may open up. We may get one more retest. You feel me? And then just go ahead and get right to the top of that 116 area and keep it moving. And this isn't divergence. This is just, I use the boxes not as divergence, but to say, hey, it's a lot of support here. Or, hey, it's a lot of resistance here. You feel me? Let me turn meat code back on, back on there, and then uh, I'm gonna pick one more pair, and we're gonna check some shit out. Matter of fact, I'm gonna let y'all choose the last pair. So in the comment section, man, choose the last pair that I go ahead and check out, man. You guys spam that chat while we let that in the meat code play. Don't forget to let that young Tylionaire, uh don't let that young Tylionaire get cracking. You know what I'm saying? You like yo T, what you talk about, man? Like literally, bro. All you gotta do, man. All y'all gotta do. All y'all gotta do is this. Go to the Spotify, right? The Spotify is really the shit that's going to have y'all lit as hell. You feel me? So go to the Spotify, and that's what it's going to have you shit lit. You feel me? You are crazy. So this is my markup, but you guys call it out. You feel me? You guys call it out while I let that inner meat coat play. All right? The market is a list, bro. We in the field with two score with the big twins. And I meet coat. Trading and I meet coat. And Versace Rose. You ain't get out of control. Shoot my shot. Knock him down like a free throw. Shoot my shot. Knock it down like it's dominoes. And I meet coat. Trading and I meet coat. And Versace Rose. You ain't get out of control. Shoot my shot. Knock him down like a free throw. Shoot my shot. Knock it down like it's dominoes. Hey, yo. Don't be stupid. Lane the lane swerving in a phantom on ruthless. Oh, shit. I'm going to holler at you on Facebook, too. Probably stream Fortnite or some shit, I don't know. Damn, y'all going crazy in the chat. And that's by Kizzy Go Hard, man. Y'all seen Kizzy getting cracking, man. Y'all seen Kizzy getting cracking. All right, then I'm going to play that new well plan. You said that new well plan. Um, or I could play that, uh, say they run the world, but they don't run shit. Say they about that life, but what life are you living? Flexing for the gram, but your gram not real. <laughs> Flexing for them bras, but them bras ain't shit. Like, what you mean? Champ. Also, I'm going to go ahead and do GJ. Somebody said GJ. So I'm going to go ahead and fuck with GJ. I'm going to check that out. One time. One time. One time. Drum Say they run the world. Say they run the world. Shout out to Drum Dummy on the beat on that one too. 
Say they run the world, run it then, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, say they run the world, but they don't run shit. Yeah, say they bout that life, but what life for you living? Uh, flexing for the gram, but your gram ain't real. Yeah, flexing for the all right, so you probably like, yo, you had a, a sitting triangle or you had a little triangle Bermuda thing and it was pushing up, but it broke out to the downside. And yeah, that's what the market does. You feel me? It does break structure sometimes. And so it broke out to the downside. I feel like, hey, it could have been a false break. You feel me? And we just going to continue doing what we were doing and uh, running it like that. I could even readjust these breaks, readjust these trend lines and see what structure we're in now. I know that's a little bit ugly, but I'm about to make it I'm about to make it a little pretty so y'all can see. So now I just gotta remark my shit back up. So boom, so now that's what I see. And this is off the daily. Alright, so boom. Price could have either hit this little zone right here. So I mean, when we look at Euro USD on the daily, it looks like it's an ultimate downtrend. When we look at Euro uh, JPY, it looks like the overall picture was down. Although currently, I know we're at the bottom of that support, so shit is like pushing up. You know what I'm saying? And uh, that's just what it is. So this is a morning star. I don't know if you guys know what those are, but that looks like a morning star right here. This little pattern thing right here. Let me take that little box away. All right, let's just zoom in. I don't know if you guys can actually see that, but that looks like a morning star on the bottom of this channel. Right, so once again, all right, but then also trade what you see, you know what I'm saying? Trade what you see. Changing lanes for whatever that means On my day to day making waves like the sea So many different plays Some days I play it by ear I Skip to my loot like I skip to the B Skip one, skip you, skip her and pick three Ay, Fuck a plan A if you ain't got a plan B And fuck a plan C if you forget the planning I mean the game is all business I'm straight without your niggas I'd rather roll the dice and fuck with some real ones I'd rather take the jump than say that I did it Couldn't miss me with the nonsense I'm about to make history Say they run the world, but they don't run shit. Yeah, say they bout that life, but what life for you living? Uh, flexing for the gram, but your gram ain't real. Yeah, flexing for the prize, for the prize ain't shit, okay? Say they run the world. All right, so I got two targets. One. Let's say I want to see, I mean, I want to see, I want to show you that if you look left, we are at resistance. There's a lot of resistance right here or old support becomes new resistance. So that's why price is banking off. And that's why I started to retrace and get that push down. All right. Secondly, I feel like when it does come back up and retest, because this is a morning star, we're going to go to 132. What is this? 132 or 133.37. Right now we're at 132.304. Um, so that's 100 pips right there. You feel me? 133.371 or uh, every time I move the mouse it give me a new fucking it give me a new number but that's this area right here so in between this area right here if we burst through this area you feel me and we keep getting shit going to the top side of this channel and it just completes itself out we're going to get up to about 135 price is at 132 right now so that's only a three dollar change so you're like what's a three dollar change you feel me a three dollar change and the currency market is just a three dollar change so the price changed from 132 to 135 all right so your exchange rate went higher can i do you jay shit i don't think i can do no more i don't think i can do no more i'm gonna keep up with you i didn't ran it up with y'all can y'all go run up my streams <laughs> what's good he said check your dm bro I sent you a few designs. Oh, easy call. Oh, y'all really heard me and looked out. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Easy call. Oh, the trade game lit, though. Let's get it, though. Let's get it. You feel me? I'll answer some questions for y'all right now. I'm going to answer some questions for uh, for y'all right now. Let's get it. Appreciate y'all. Like I said, man, like at the end of the day, I feel like everybody going uh, gonna to be lit with, with us, man. He said, how about I uh, start publishing my charts to trade and view with my support and resistance? Nah, actually, I've been publishing my charts to Twitter, and we've been falling out on your stupid ass. What's good, baby boy? 
Hey, I'm like Jordan out here. Boom, dunking on y'all pussies. What's up? <laughs> Niggas come on the chat popping that nut shit. Shut the fuck up, nigga. You over here on my dick. What's up? Anyway. Um, you said, what about Australian JPY? Is Finch, you finna barrel down? Hey, Australian dollar really been cracking. That shit been really going up. You feel me? So, like I said, I have trailing stops in. Um, I do expect that that pullback. I always expect the pullback, but it's just, it's the natural order of the market. It's like a wave in the ocean. You know what I'm saying? So, I always expect the pullback before it really get cracking anything. You know what I'm saying? All right, so that was Say They Run. Um, like I said, right now, we just answering questions. So, if y'all got questions, I'm going to try to get some, some of the Facebook ones, too. He said, holy shit, this chat is booming on me. That's because it's coming off the YouTube. So if y'all not on the YouTube, then yeah, you feel me? Um, LM, when you enter on the 5 or 15, or shit, you know, some people enter on the hour. You got to, I mean, literally create a plan and then trade your plan. You know what I'm saying? Create a plan and then trade your plan. All right, that's how you get it cracking. I, have, I DM you on Instagram. I got you. Nas 100, play it. I can't play nice 100 yet. You know what I'm saying? I can't play that yet. <laughs> I can't play it just yet. You feel me? But I definitely see that fucking resistance right there. I feel like we're going to get that pullback. You feel me? And shit, you got to trade what you see. So if you if you are on the pullback and that shit, you need to, you see, start seeing profit, then what you need to do, nigga, is tighten up your fucking stops, nigga. Bring that shit in and win the profit trail and stop it. That's how you do it. Which leverage would I recommend for uh, for small accounts? It's literally up to you. I mean, it depends on your broker, really. You know what I'm saying? Um, you could do like one to fifty or one to five hundred. You feel me? So let's get it. He said, "Play XRP." <laughs> nah, it's that. Nah, it's that. Smoking on that guy's back. All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna fuck with y'all. I'm gonna fuck with y'all. I'm gonna fuck with y'all. Since y'all, since y'all stay all the way to the end, and it's really like a, a thousand of y'all who stay all the way to the end, I'm gonna fuck with y'all. Like I said, I've been doing this shit every week, man. So let's get it cracking. All right. All right, y'all said you want me to play that nice. I'm about to play it in a second. Shout out to this nigga Kizzy for this shit too. You feel me? Hey yo, Kizzy, what the fuck? Man, shit, bro. Keep sending these tracks through. <laughs> here we go, 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 Nasdaq, Nasdaq, smoking on that gas pack. Pass that, set it, attack that. Ay, ay, fill up the tank, I mass that. Bitch, run up the rope, that's a big fat. Nas that, nas that, smoking on that gas pack. Pass that, set it, attack. Ay, 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 fill up the tank, I mass. Bitch, run up the rope, back. Bitch, niggas capping, acting like they rich. Okay, cool, swerving through the lane on 26. Hey, yo, big business, bought some land, make a big flip. Say less. You and them currencies, just a little tip. Nas 100, that's some big shit. US 30 yard profits, had to double flip. Hit pound versus the dollar on the back end. Hey, pull run, baby, so I'm back in. <laughs> that shit gonna go up, though. That shit gonna go up, though. Let's get it, man. He said, Have I seen that new Fortnite season coming? I definitely have. He said, are my charts moving or I'm just marking what I see? I just market what I see. But you can definitely come to the stream tomorrow on Forex and Fortnite, and these bitches will be moving. He said, needs to be mixed. Bro, I need an engineer. I've been reaching out trying to get engineers. You feel me? So I just blast my shit how all the other niggas just do it on SoundCloud. Blast that shit how the young niggas like it. Distorted, rough, nasty, and blowing out their fucking eardrums. <laughs> feel me? And said I got those designs. So yeah, y'all need to hit me up, bro. But I'm about to get up out of this bitch. You feel me? I think we've been up in here for like an hour. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Easy. I'm like, how they do we doing the TED Talks? How they look at the hour shit and they see it, they be like, oh boom, hour, boom, I'm out. That's I mean, that's how it, it gotta be, you know what I'm saying? Um sometimes I do it longer, but let's get it. How to learn to mark up charts, YouTube. <laughs> he said, bro, send me it, I mix it. All right, easy call, I got you. That's on um, Instagram, all right? And then I'm about to give you my Twitter right now, so I just gave you my Insta, all right? 
Boom. So let's get it. So y'all make sure you follow me on Insta. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. All right, make sure, like I said, man, people ask me what I want for this. I don't care about the the, the dough, bro. We, we trade Forex. Like, it's it's already a blessing. It's already a blessing enough to trade Forex, bro, and be good at it. You feel me? So go run on my streams. <laughs>